How are you, Pearson? Fine, thank you, sir. My goodness, you look younger than your pictures. Oh, really? Uh, how old are you, son? Uh, 26, sir. <laughs> 26. I remember when I was 26, just getting started. Yeah, you and the Mills brothers. <laughs> no, I didn't have nothing to do with him coming over here. Fred Florida invited him. I don't know what's gotten into that woman lately. What's gotten into me is some sense. When Fred Davis asked me to vote for him after 20 years of doing nothing, I say nothing doing. Right. You know, Mr. Davis, I've been trying to get in touch with you for quite some time now to discuss the issues, but it seems like every time I call your office, uh, your secretary says that you're out. Well, uh, I can understand that. I mean, when a man's messing with his secretary, he don't like to be interrupted. <laughs> You know, the law says he's old enough to vote, but they ain't heard him talk yet. <laughs> Nevertheless, Mr. Davis, I am glad that we had this opportunity to meet because I would like to discuss some questions and issues with you. No more than me, son. But right now, I have to rush off. I left my car in a no-parking zone. That shouldn't bother you. You fix everybody else's ticket. <laughs> well, that's cold, Florida. <laughs> But I understand. You want to vote for a loser this time? Lo it's okay with me. Goodbye. No, no, Davis. Uh, please don't rush off. Let's talk issues. Tear him up, Fred. <laughs> All right. I'll give you time for just one question. All right. Shoot. All right, Davis. How come you never tell what your position is on a citizen's review board to handle complaints against the police? Well, um, you see, um... <laughs> <laughs> Cute kid you got here, James. Yeah. Real cute. You're gonna be even cuter when you gotta sleep standing up tonight. <laughs> yes, well, I happen to think it's a very good question, Mr. Davis. You're darn right it is. And I've given it a lot of thought. A lot of thought. Well, what do you think about it? I have very definite opinions about it. Very definite opinions. And I appreciate an opponent who's thinking on these matters. Yes, well, Davis, you don't have to patronize me. Okay, now I have one more question. I'm curious to know exactly how you stand on something that is uh, very important to this community. Night care centers. Night care centers? Well, yes, uh, night care centers are merely extensions of daycare centers. He knows that. <laughs> you see, there are a lot of black women in this community who work at night and they need a place to leave their small children. Now, I think that is a very good idea. That's it's wonderful, Jimmy. Oh, yes, night care centers. I have very definite opinions. <laughs> One thing about Davis, he has very definite <laughs> Oh, come on, Davis, why don't you just admit it? You are totally out of touch with the problems of this community. You are a relic of the past. A relic? <laughs> exactly, sir, a relic. All right, man, that cuts it. You want to get down, then let's get down. All right, go! <laughs> You're a real smart dude with a lot of fancy words you like to strut. But when it comes to politics, you don't know your head from your butt. Come <laughs> on, oh, Jimmy. Get him. Get him, Jimmy. Okay, oh. No, no, no. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I am not interested in getting involved in street games. Well, if you're not interested in getting involved with this one, I am. So you want to play the dozens, huh, Davis? <laughs> All right. You stand there and say you're a man of the people, but I say you'd steal everything, including the church steeple. <laughs> now, wait a minute, Fred. Let me come to your aid here, brother. Now, your eyes may shine and your teeth may grit, but that alderman's job, you ain't gonna get. <laughs> hold on, hold on, it's my turn. Go ahead, on, on. My turn. Go ahead. Now. Those speeches you gave against crime were real heart tuggers. Mm -hmm. Only things gotten so bad in those streets, the muggers are mugging the muggers. Hey. 